Oh, yeah, baby. Welcome to My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episode 3. That's all I gotta say about that situation. So let's do it. Let's go in. I, we know what's about to happen in this episode. Oh, we know. We know. And then, of course, rest in, I guess, pieces, actually, now that I think about it. That's screwed up, but it's true. But she did what she could. And she completely just screwed him up. Got rid of so many quirks. True damage. So, let's go. An extension. Yes. We gotta get stronger. I like, like, we've already been doing that, though. Anyway, I can, I'll skip it this time around. I don't know if I skipped it last. Did I skip the last episode? I think I did. Like, I get the vibe from it, and I'm just like, I want to see the episode, bro. Anyway. Here we go! Oh, wait, this is the cave. Never mind. I thought this was the other scene. It's alright, other me. I like how he is straight up, just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I like how he... Oh. That frustration won't go away. He can understand it. He can feel it. He says in time you'll be able to use your quirks again. But that doesn't imply that they're, they would be, they would return. I think he just gets more, right? He just somehow finds more. They don't come back. When a quirk's destroyed, it doesn't come back. Yeah, he's like, you know what? At least we got rid of New Order. There's a positive. He's really wanting to go. And what is that? What is that difference? Huh? Many, many routes for a single goal. The Sonic Ring. Dude, he really does, like, plan so much. The paths can turn around and go back to that main path. Many factors. Oh. Many things can be done? <laughs> oh! When I saw that in that chapter, I was like, whoa. No actual shot, bro. No way. Eat those sugar cubes! Sugar cubes don't even have that much sugar in them. That's the thing. They're not, like, as sugary as, like, a Sour Patch Kid. If Sugar Rush started eating, like, like, I don't know, like, act, yeah, like Sour Patch Kids, he would be unstoppable. But he eats sugar cubes. Man, she... Is she licking rocks? It's gotta taste gross. I guess she's a frog. It doesn't fucking matter. Look at this man. All the training. Bro, the cluster. I love the cluster. I like that Bakugo doesn't have the big ass grenades, at least. Yeah, his quirk awakening. That still technically is in the works. Oh, yeah, that is his winter outfit. He, he It's one or the other. Right. Oh, he's working on his... Oh, shit. I forgot that he's working on his... I forgot what it was called. I gotta read it in the manga again. But he has a sick-ass ability that he uses. Combine it. My body is one. My body is ready. Nice water. All the grapes. <sighs> For now. Three things. Yeah. Again, he's always had contingencies for this situations. Always. That old nutsack! He called it to him. He, he, he told him what he is. Yeah, 75% complete. Or I guess 74. Yeah, at any point. Yeah, he still has it though. Unfortunately. His hair. Yeah, exploded from Bakugo. Yeah, we, you dumbass. Ha ha ha. It's all of us now. Wait, did Mina always have her costume shoulder exposed? I don't remember. I genuinely don't. I just know. All I know is that Ida's fit here. Fucking awesome, dude. Yes. What did that say? What did that say? Kihahu Kashi. I guess that just means embarrassed. Oh, it, it says it on the top. Yeah, that makes sense. 
She's like, oh, look, no. I just did what I th- in the moment, okay? That's all. <sighs> yeah. Contingencies after contingencies. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Dude, I fucking freaked. I freaked out when I read this in the manga, man. I freaked out. Oh, dude, I bet like people like like looking in, like zooming in, but like, who is that? Who is that? Where is she? Ah! <laughs> All right. I'm pausing it to say this thing. I know. The one person, the one person, when I watch your Academia reactions, there's one person, at the very least, that stands out to the rest of them because of your undying suspicion towards Aoyama, and that is you, Alicia X-Life. She, from, like, the (laughs) the fucking beginning, was like, I hate him, I think he's bad, and, like, every other character turned out good, but you... you, Alicia, you stuck to your guns. You stuck to it. And you suspected him to a very fucking end. Respect. Anyway, if you'd like somehow see this video, good. Anyway, that, that's all I wanted to say. Now, about my reaction, I completely fucking forgot about the traitor shit. So when I read this in the manga, I was like, wait, what? And then he appeared and I was like, oh my god. And I think I literally like fell backwards. It was funny. I was so surprised because I'm a dumbass and I forget shit. So it actually threw me off for a fucking loop because everything that happened here was because of that communication. And I remember the bait and switch when To- when- not Togo, when Toru was shown at the end of of a chapter and for a week or two weeks, we thought it was her because that was the end of the chapter when it showed her by the tree like this. We thought it was her and then it was a bait and switch. And it was him! It's like, what? What? Never trust the French! Oh, God. You know, she, I mean, honestly, her finding out like this, she's invisible, so, like, obviously, who's gonna see her? (laughs) Now, again, he's a traitor because they were forced to do it. It's not like he did it out of malice. I totally forgot that All for One gave him that quirk, and that's why it hurts so much, and that's why he relates to Midoriya, saying, your quirk doesn't fit with you. Like, your body rejects your quirk, just like me. I- oh my god, I forgot that All for One did that for him. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot about that. (laughs) Yeah, when you get into his fingers, you can't escape. You gotta do something. You gotta. You have to. <sighs> yeah. You secretly hoped that he would have. That was it. Like, it was over. No. Like, that, it's just pure desperation. Because, for all we know, that they could be bombed just like Lady Nagant was. Oh, I'm afraid to take it. Dude, I, holy fuck. It was you, bruh. But, like, that's the thing, is like. Aoyama, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, he didn't say shit. I remember a lot of people in the anime, uh, watching the anime, questioned. Like, some people were asking, like, why the fuck did Aoyama not say anything? I think even Alicia X Life said the same thing. All of her suspicions, bro. <laughs> like, the key points. You were right. You were the only one that didn't say shit. Just, just, just like him. Related. Yeah. 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 Not in there at all. You know, looking at it again, it it, it does make it kind of obvious, huh? But not really. Is this the first, like, ever catch title screen that he's had i think ever oh god i just realized what this is isn't it is this the finger shit 
Yes, you get another one. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, if Aoyama fails, whatever. I got more. They're just tools to me. The thing is, is I forget if they're bombed or not. I can't remember. I don't think they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, corkless. Bro, that's like following some shit on the internet, dude. And then you get scammed. Like, he just scammed him. Yeah, it wasn't a good fit. God. I'm like, I'm not saying much because it's just like, it makes it all fit together nicely, you know? Oh. God. There's rumor All Might Weigh a Teacher put him in UA. God. Whew. Uh, lure him out so he's alone. So they technically lured him out. Oh, shit, man. There she is! The refraction, the refraction! The true Toru face. Bruh! There she is! Like, oh my god. <sighs> All for one really went when when Deku's back, lure him so he's alone and take him out. Like, really? Man. Oh. But they had to be done, and now they have him. They know, but he didn't mean it, you know? Like, oh, no, no, All Might's face. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god, what's that? I forgot what season it was, but at some point he's like, Yeah, there's no traitors. All my students, they're, they're, they have hearts of gold. Like, All Might was so confident in that. So seeing one of his students, bro, oh god. Oh. Oh yeah, they, there is no explosion trigger because it would have happened already. Maybe I need it. Maybe I needed a quick pause because just thinking about all this, all the memories that are flooding back to me when I read this in the manga is like it's exploding back into my brain at a high fucking velocity, and I'm just like, oh, 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 like you know, like oh, mm, like the emotions there. Toru finally seeing what she looks like. It's just it's uh, uh, even the principles. <laughs> Principal was so confident too that there was no traitor, and he's like, well, ah. There's a traitor among us. Oh! I have never in my life seen the principal with such an expression before. This is hurting. Oh, God. They ain't leaving. Well, he would have led Deku out, probably, anyway. That's, that was the plan. He, he pretty much was. Hmm. What a small world. That's the thing is... <sighs> That's... Yeah. We were shown what would happen to those who did it. Was it the explosion? Oh. Uh, fuck. Yeah, because he has a certain level... If I recall right, he has like a certain level of understanding and knowing how people not where people are but like how they lie as well i don't remember how he can just find them like that though i mean he has search now so <clears throat> bro she's so beautiful the sparkles bro <sighs> this is why it's so genius it's why oh, he wanted to reassure him with cheese to have him at least relate but again, the fact that he wasn't super prominent makes this so much more satisfying because some people that notice that can infer that and then it comes true because he actually is the traitor. You know, that's so true though. Why did he? Wait, yeah. What? Why did he? Yeah. He didn't. You gave him the cheese to relate. You told him that. 
Huh, it really was. Like a subtle, subtle SOS. <sighs> oh, yeah. Broken. Oh, even Bakugo realizes, like, yeah. I, I mean, it's still criminal activity, but that doesn't mean it's hopeless, you know. Because you never know if he's bugged, if certain information can be leaked until you can at least fully analyze the situation. Oh, yeah, only he does it. I see. Yeah. They can't use them to get to him. Oh, oh. I forgot this is how they can use... Yeah. Yeah. They just have to do it perfectly. And they have to do it, like, soon. Very soon. That, that, that only felt like ten minutes. What the hell? That seriously was weird. That did not feel like... What the hell? But yeah. Now, if they can manage to deceive all for one, they have the upper hand. But there is a detail about that that I won't... Actually, you know what? Manga spoilers ahead. You can skip to this time if you don't want to hear that. But yeah, this is where um they... We find out that All for One can detect when people lie. So the only way to get around that is for Shinzo to pretend to be, um, I think it was Aoyama. And then relay that information and technically not lie. So he is like, oh, okay. And then boom, that's when the ambush happens. That's when the war begins. And then we're in it. So. That's going to be awesome. Manga spoilers over. Let's watch the preview. We got to help. Aoyama, you got to do what you got to do now. There is hope. Aizawa. The story of how we all became heroes. Man. Again, just the satisfying conclusion of the fact that, yes, Aoyama hasn't really been super prominent out of all the students. It makes sense now. That actually, it makes sense. It goes like, it, it's a full circle, perfect execution of it. And the people that are sharp enough to realize that, awesome. That, like, you solved it, that's fucking awesome. But the for the people that you know, probably didn't infer it and just saw past it. When you rewatch the anime or look at those scenes again, then you'll be like, oh my god, it makes so much sense. It's all around, full circle awesomeness. So, yeah, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.